Pattern two is rare. About, in our big database, about 15% of back dominance are twos. It's not common, but they're out there. They exist. They're real. They're very specific. They're back dominant. We know what that means, back buttock, trochanter, groin. They are worse with extension, but they are never worse with flexion. And this is what separates them from the one slows. Twos are easy to treat. Twos get better in a hurry. Twos don't bother you at all. They often don't show up. I think there are probably more of them than we know because they don't come in for treatment. This really hurts a lot. This feels good. I spend most of my life doing this and not much of it doing that. They're pretty simple. And in the same vein, they're always intermittent. Never worse than flexion. <clears throat> always intermittent. Pattern two. Simple. What's the pathology? Haven't got a clue. Do I think I know? Eh, I'm not so sure I do in twos. They're kind of rare. But I got some ideas. Physical exam. Where's my physical exam expert? What's the physical exam in a pattern two going to show? And when they bend forward, it's not going to hurt. Right, perfect, got it. In fact, sometimes they feel better. And the neurology, normal. That's it, guys. That's back dominant. That's, that's the majority of your cases in two broad categories, both of which have treatment-specific options. This is where I really run into trouble with everybody. Say, yeah, but that's, you made it too simple. It's got to, you got to talk about the ligaments and the joints and the... No, you don't. Let's just take one simple example. Let's take one of Darrell's cases with a significant spondylolisthesis. Slip of one vertebra on another. Okay? Patient presents, no x-ray available. You examine them and they hurt on flexion and they hurt on extension. What are they? There are one slow. That's a gimme. I will treat this person according to the strategies, and are they likely to get better? Well, if they do, it'll be slow. And if they don't, and we're going to come to this point in just a moment, I've set myself up now for the investigation. See, I don't have to investigate first. I don't have to take an x-ray. Oh, my God, you're going to spawn low. I'm going to treat your pattern. And if your pattern responds, supposing, I, supposing magically I got my patient with the slip totally pain-free with whatever I, mechanical treatment I gave them to do. Totally pain-free. What am I going to do about the slip now? Am I going to operate on it? Am I going to fuse it or decompress it when the patient has no symptoms? Of course I'm not. So what I have to do is treat the syndrome. And then at the, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, now I can go ahead and do all the stuff that we talked about this morning. We've had it upside down. We've been investigating before we've been treating, instead of treating and then investigating as we need.